Today we want to talk about a very special submarine. Its name is Bory A, one of Russia's silent giants. This massive vessel moves underwater like a shadowy ghost. Our goal is to explain everything about it step by step. First, let's go back to years after Soviet Union collapse. Back then, Russia searched for replacements for Typhoon and Delta. They wanted something stronger, stealthier, and much more advanced. The result was Bory Project, with a long, difficult journey. The early Bory models had many technical problems initially. But Russia never quit. They improved and moved forward. That improved design became Bory A, the real star. Here is where the exciting story of A begins. Bory A was built for better silence and deep stealth. Communication systems and sonar arrays were upgraded for survival. Hull and sail shapes changed for higher underwater maneuverability. That means it hides easier and confuses enemy hunters. Now let's talk about the massive size of it. Length about 170 meters, beam 13.5. Displacement underwater nearly 24,000 tons reported officially. Numbers that show pure size when you hear them. The energy comes from powerful nuclear reactors on board. Two pressurized water reactors, each around 200 megawatts. Turbines generate about 50,000 horsepower driving single shaft. This lets it stay underwater for weeks without problems. For propulsion, instead of a classic propeller, it has pump jet. This new tech reduces noise and makes smoother movement. Enemies find it very difficult to trace sound. Here lies one of Russia's strongest submarine advantages. How fast is its surface? 15 knots. Submerged, 29. That means when it wants, it moves really fast. Operational depth, about 400 to 450 meters. Down there, most navies cannot even imagine operating. Now the exciting part, the main weapon systems. Bory A carries 16 Bulava ballistic nuclear missiles on board. Each missile can carry multiple independently targeted warheads. That means striking several different targets all at once. Range of these missiles is over 8,000 kilometers. From Arctic waters, they could reach anywhere across continents. That is Russia's real definition of nuclear sea deterrence. When hidden underwater, finding it becomes almost impossible. Besides missiles, it has six torpedo tubes too. These can surprise enemy ships with heavy, fast torpedoes. It can even launch anti-submarine rocket torpedo weapons. So defense and attack are combined in one platform. Crew size is small, about only 107. That means easier operations and less human needs on board. But everything inside is modern, digital, and automated. Electronics make work easier and comfort better for sailors. So how many built so far? Six are active. First was Kniaz Vladimir, delivered in year 2020. Others joined Northern Fleet and Pacific Fleet step by step. More Bore A boats are still under active construction. Russia's plan is to have at least 12. That number guarantees constant patrols around the globe. Some will cover Arctic, others Pacific Ocean permanently. So deterrence from both directions is always ensured. How much does each cost? Around 400 million. Some reports even say close to 900. Depends on year built and specific onboard systems but overall, it's a huge investment for Russia. The main duty is long strategic underwater patrol missions. It stays hidden under sea for weeks without being detected. Missiles remain ready to launch if danger ever arises. That's the real meaning of nuclear deterrence today. 
They even practiced special operations beneath Arctic ice sheets. Submarines surfaced through thick ice and launched real missiles. This training proves readiness for any possible war scenario. Enemies never get to feel safe or comfortable. Let's do a small comparison to keep perspective. America's Ohio class carries 24 Trident ballistic nuclear missiles. Borea only carries 16, but newer and stealthier. Fewer missiles, but stealth advantage, Russia's hidden winning card. Now look at China's Type 094 class. They only carry 12 JL-2 nuclear missiles. Range is shorter and noise levels much higher. So China is still behind in this competition. Russian submarines also have very symbolic names chosen. Knyaz Vladimir, Knyaz Oleg, and Generalissimo Suvorov included. Each named after great princes or legendary commanders. Names that add historical power and patriotic feeling. They are stationed in special bases across Russian territory. Northern Fleet in Murmansk, Pacific Fleet in Velichinsk. So coverage from both sides of Russia is guaranteed. This strategy strengthens Russian geopolitical position worldwide significantly. Borae also uses very advanced stealth design features. Hull is fully hydrodynamic, shaped like Western designs. Movable fins and shorter sail reduce detection signatures further. When moving, enemies almost hear nothing at all. Even flank and towed sonar arrays are installed. They carefully monitor surrounding sounds with high precision. Before enemy knows, Bore already has the information. This awareness always provides advantage under the ocean. Interestingly, cruise missile versions are also being considered. That means some Bore subs may become SSGNs, similar to what America did with Ohio conversions. More flexibility in strike and deterrence at once. So in the end, what do we really see? Russia has built a new strong strategic backbone. Bore A mixes silence, power, and long-range nuclear reach. A story just beginning, with much more still coming.